Earth and space science is a very interesting set of topics. We're either talking about rocks on this planet or rocks on another planet, or we're talking about interesting life on this planet or the possibility of life on another planet. They deal with the how a planet operates and what the major systems are, so the air and the water and the biota and the rocks and minerals. And these are all the topics that I'm interested in, like to draw the students' attention to. I think science is self-motivating if you can find the right keys to entice your audience into exploring it further. So I find ways of bringing science into the classroom any chance I get. Uh, materials like demos and hands-on uh, activities for students, but also it's really important to bring the students into the field. So I take them on field trips to the Royal Terrell Museum or the observatory to look through the large telescopes. So those kind of activities I feel are what's essential to improve learning and have students really enjoy the experience. I think a critical thing for students to understand in this day and age is there's an overwhelming amount of information about science in our planet. And this information is not always coming from reputable sources, so we need to have students who are skeptical in a nice way to figure out the science of an issue, to see where there's uh, truth and fact coming out and then with that information they're better prepared to handle what the changes are in our society.